This is project number 9. Moment of Inspiration and Meshrinder. This is the Moment of Inspiration website where we can download the 90-day free trial. One of the things that I appreciate most about Moment of Inspiration is that it truly is 3D modeling for designers and artists. And what we're going to be doing today is pairing Moment of Inspiration with a brand new product called Mesh Render. It's really going to be very interesting for both groups. Let's take a look at Mesh Render. Mesh Molder is a program that has been around for several years. I've used it. It's a sculpting program. And the designer of Mesh Molder has just released a new product called Mesh Render. It's found on meshmolder.com slash mesh render. There are two versions. There's a shareware version, and if you pay $20, you get the pro version or the full version, and that's the one I suggest you look at. That's the one I'm going to be using today. So let's get started and see how these two programs work together. I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, this is going to be a fun project. We're going to go to our arc. We're going to go to three points arc. We'll start here somewhere, and we'll go to about there, and we'll get an arc about like that. We will then go to construct revolve. We're only going to revolve this about um, 100 and we're not going to cap the ends. So we go here to top, go to the front, get that revolved around. And what we have now is this shell, okay? We'll go to the top. We'll move this out just a hair, and we will rotate it about like that. Um, and then we will array this circular. We'll use uh, a value of three here. Value of three. Okay, and then we have this. And now we're going to, let me get rid of that. We, we now have this. We're going to, we're going to twist. Pick the start of axis, go to the front come down and we will twist this to 40 let's say oh that looks good all right so we got that now let's name these objects this one's going to be two red and just so we remember we'll do that three blue and We'll change that to blue. Now we're going to call this yellow because that ultimately that's the color we're going to use. So this is going to be for yellow. But just as a placeholder, we'll color it green. So we have three different colors here. Now we need to make one other object. Uh, we're going to make a solid, a sphere. And we want it pretty big. Now we go to the top view to make sure that that's where we want it. We're going to make this one clear. Okay, so we have one clear. We have these objects. We select all of the objects. File. Save as. And this is going to be mesh render. Test 01, and we'll save that down here into Mesh Render. There we go, Mesh Render Test 01. So we've saved that now, and now we're going to export this as an object file. Save. And we will come over and make it as smooth as we can get it. And we're now going to bring in Mesh Render. 
My sound levels may change a bit because I'm using a different recorder to record mesh render. Camtasia seems to have issues with mesh render. Uh, they're both trying to take up all the processing power. So we're going to start mesh render right now. Okay, this, this is the mesh render. We're going to go to File, Import, and we're going to go out to uh, Mesh Render Test. There we go. And find our test file that we brought in. And you'll see it comes in quite big. I'm going to roll the wheel back to bring it out. And I'm going to go over before I do anything else and select the HDR that I want to use with this. All right. I'll bring it back here. All righty. So we'll, we'll try this one for right now. Now I can change the brightness with this scale here. I can rotate the scene around. Um, when I do, this is a brand new program, so I'm not sure it should hold its position, but uh, you just do your wheel and it'll come back into place. So now let's select the colors that we want to use. Let's turn off our clear for a minute so that we can see what we have inside this object. I'm gonna double click on red. I'm gonna change red, the color red here, just uh, in the materials up in this space, but I'm also going to change the material type. We're gonna to go to plastic and the material type is gonna be changed to this plastic and I'm going to go ahead and take a red over here. Nice bright red here someplace. Get that and apply that to the mesh. So now I've applied that to the red. Now we're going to do the same thing. Um, I also could uh, do some changes down here. But we'll start out with the default settings for right now. So blue. We're going to select the blue. And we'll just uh, go ahead and pick this blue for right here just um, for that. But we'll pick a nice blue over here. We'll apply that to the mesh color. We're going to apply the material. I probably should have done this first to blue. So blue is now there. And let's go back to the color and apply that to the blue color. There we go. And then the, uh, I'm going to come over here to yellow. I'm going to pick the material first. Here's yellow for the material. We'll just say that we have this yellow. That reminds us what colors we want here. Over here, I'm going to pick a bright yellow. Uh, let's see if I can get a really nice bright, bright yellow. There we go. There we go. And now here are our, our colors inside the object. Uh, now we're going to turn the clear back on. And remember, in Moment of Inspiration, this was a solid. So we come here to our material, and we'll pick the glass. There's two types of glass. We're going to pick the smooth glass and bring that back out. Now, without changing anything else, um, brightness or anything. We'll just see what happens. The next step is to render. So this is quite a bit different from what we had in Moment of Inspiration. All of these were solids in Moment of Inspiration. But now I can change that solid into a marble that has occlusions that are different colors. So I'm going to render this. Uh, we're going to call this uh, Mesh Render test 01 and we'll find our folder again okay now i want to set a time here uh this this will do the maximum number of minutes that this will render. I could set that to any number. The longer you take, the 
the better the rendering is going to be. But just a, a five minute take care is all we need. I'm going to put in this caustics. I have no idea what caustics are. Uh, somebody can help me out in that in the comments section. But now let's try to start our render and see what happens. Uh, it's finished and it will save the image. Let's go over there and take a look at it. All right, let's see what we have here. Mesh render testo one ping right there. And there's our rendered image. I think moment of inspiration and mesh render are going to make really good pairings because Moment of Inspiration really is a product for both designers and artists. In Mesh Render, it's a low-cost alternative to the high-priced uh, renderers that have been out there for some time. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun.